What's up, Blast Up Podcast? Welcome back to Challenge, boy Jared, y'all. Um, yeah, this one is gonna be a doozy. I'm gonna just go ahead and just get into the video because there's a lot to cover in this. Oh, there we go. Ah! I made it. Okay, ah! cool. Have you been here before? No, I've never. And look, I won't gonna go on because I'm like I'm in bed, my hair ain't done, I ain't got no makeup on. But when I seen Mega ass up there, I said, oh, if she let Mega on. I might as well go for it. <laughs> That's not nice. What I is mean, your no, name, I'm, honey? I mean, of course, you know, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying, come on. I mean, hey, it is what it is. I'm not talking about her, but I'm just saying, if Maggie got the guts to go for it, baby, this is just all natural. We're going to keep going. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> hey. All right, sit up for me. Sit up for me. What's your name, honey? My name is Chica. Chica, where are you calling us from? Virginia. VA, what you do for a living? Um, I'm a realtor, a hairstylist, and I was... A realtor and hairstylist. First of all, a realtor is a full-time job, so you will have no time to be a hairstylist. Second of all, a hairstylist, you are, all, you are there all the time because you have people's hair to do. So therefore, ma'am, you are damn lying. Shut the fuck up. Say a chef, but I'm not like professionally trained so i guess we'll a cook okay we'll say a cook and you a cook you know what i'm tired of you hoes trying to make yourself seem more important than y'all are get the fuck out of here okay so she could be a realtor hairstylist a cook um how old are you love i'm 45. okay you look younger i thought you were younger do you have any kids Yes, I have a 23-year-old um, daughter. She's in college. I have a 15-year-old son and a 14-year-old daughter. I have a question. Is there any sense of, is do you have a, a sense of arrested development? Because, ma'am, you, you sound like a damn 21-year-old trying to be cool. Like, I swear, you sound like you're trying to be cool. You're 45 years old trying to be cool and it's only is given is given struggle to me. Along with this butterfly bathrobe your dumb ass got on. 23 year old, a 15 year old son, and a 14 year old daughter? Yes. Okay. Um, and what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. Oh, you have three kids? Yes, three. Okay. Are they all by the same man? Uh, two are about the same man. I had one at 22, and then my other two, once I got married at 26, I got I had those two. Okay. Have you, when did you get divorced? Um, in 2016. 2016, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sheka, 45, Pisces, VA, a realtor, a hairstylist, and a cook. Mom to three, by two men, one was her ex-husband. What kind of man are you looking for, Sheka? I'm looking for someone who they got to love God first. Definitely love God because without God, it's just like everything else is just a wrap. Um, I need... You talking about somebody that love God, but yet God told you to stay with... <laughs> y'all y'all hoes love using the Bible when it benefits y'all, but don't, don't want to hear it when the Bible, when the Bible talks about y'all degeneracy and behavior. It's real funny someone who kind of who can definitely lead me i'm tired i'm i'm tired of being the strong one i'm tired of being in charge i'm tired of being you know like this independent black one i'm tired baby i'm ready to like just say somebody say they got it and i'm good well get used to it ma'am because ain't nobody coming to dog and provide you a soft girl era i'm sorry you tired you ready to you ready to give up the dog on strong independent I don't need a man mentality. That bullshit you trying to get up, trying to give up on, ma'am. Ain't nobody coming to save you. You're 45 years old. You had a, you was a baby mama before you got married, and now you're looking for a dumbass to come in and try to save you again. Ain't nobody doing that shit. You're not even, you, you not, you, you, you not even that cute to be honest with you. Like, she can sound like she one of them uppity negroes with that um i do need a man who's strong because um you know like of course for all of my my different careers most of them i'm 
a lot of people know me. So I don't need a man who's weak, who is going to accuse me. I need somebody who's confident in who they are. Hold the fuck up. What the fuck that's supposed to mean? Hold up. Let me rewind this shit right quick so I can go ahead and break this down to a mic, a new, a molecular level. Ready to like, just say, somebody say they got it. And I'm good with that. Um, I do need a man who's strong because... Um, you know, like, of course, for all of my, my different careers. My what careers, ma'am? You're a hairstylist, you're a realtor that you say you are, which I doubt. And you are a, sh a cook. You have three careers. Which one do you want? You are 45 years old and you ain't solidified in one of them. So, excuse me, what career? See, to me, you just working a fucking job. Being a chef is a career. Owning a salon is a career. Being a hairstylist is a career. So what the fuck are you talking about? Most of them, I'm, a lot of people know me. So I don't need a man who's weak, who is going to accuse me. I need somebody who's confident in who they are. They know you how. Were you throwing that ass in a circle? Were you throwing it back on Tyrone? Well, you throw it back on him? And he made you pick up the phone. <laughs> Let me chill. What the fuck? So, I guess I would say a very confident man. Um, no one who's insecure. Love God. And just someone who could set me up. Take me to a next. Somebody that's a secure man ain't gonna want to date your motherfucking goofy ass. By the way your ass talk, you sound like you... Bro! You sound broke as shit. I'm sorry, you you do, you do. Shout out to the Duke, shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson, but she is broke. Say it with me now, broke. God damn it, hurt. I guess I would say a very confident man. Um, no one who's insecure. Love God and just someone who could set me up, take me to a ne to the next level. Take you to the next level. <laughs> Take you to the next level. What? To Carabas? <laughs> God damn, let me chill. <laughs> <laughs> she wanna be upgraded from Olive Garden to Carabas. <laughs> Cause she ain't real crisp. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> She's not a steakhouse worthy. <laughs> she is not. <laughs> I want to be taken out. I want to be taken to the next level. What? Carabas? Sure, we can go to Carabas next week. <laughs> Let me chill. <laughs> okay, was your ex-husband like that? No, he was not. It was it was a whole build a man situation. I'll never do that again, okay? Ne oh, so you didn't want to build with the man. You talking about building man. Ma'am, let me... You know what? Let me go ahead and get a little raw with it. Because apparently you ladies... Let's say you don't want to build with a man, a builder man. Okay, let me first of all, let me tell y'all this. Y'all don't want to build a man, and y'all don't want to build with a man. That's a there's two different there's a difference between those two. You see, building with a man, you're helping him along the, his goal in life. But to build a man, you're basically putting every stone in front of him and telling him this is how you, this is how you go. That's building a man. But building with the man, that man's taking leadership upon his destiny and bringing you and leading you along with him. So if we all saying that y'all don't want to build with the man, don't expect a man of higher caliber to come in and try to bring you up to the next level because you're going to stay right there at Olive Garden. You aren't worthy of what you're asking for, ma'am. You are where you are because you are baby mama. You are baby mama. And you are ex-wife. And I'm pretty sure your ex-husband is glad and l glad that you gone and living his life the way he wants to. Never. You only want okay. me. Girl, you only want me to talk about that because we divorced because he slept with my best friend. But that's all.
I would have too. And I'm gonna be a real I'm gonna be a real G about it. I would have slept with your best friend too. If your best friend your best friend was a better woman, I would have slept with her too. Yeah, I'm gonna get raw with it. If your best friend is a better woman, I would have slept with her too. Hell, I would have divorced you and married her. Cause you a bum. You got three you got three quote unquote careers talking about you don't want to build a man. Bitch, you want a man to build you. Get your dusty ass out of here with that bullshit. Y'all bras love to say this bullshit and then y'all forget that y'all in the same predicament that y'all was in when you left that man. That man probably all that man probably better off without your ass than with your ass. But y'all fail to realize that y'all wasn't worth the damn. That's the reason why that man probably either cheated or left. He probably didn't want the fucking divorce from you, but you but you wasn't doing what you were supposed to do. And from the way you acting, I would have cheated on you too. And I would have cheated probably more than you think. Oh, another show. That's a whole nother show, honey. How'd you find out? Girl, I prayed on it. Okay, so let me get into the story real quick. I'm going to make quick. So we had got separated in early 2015. I went on a women's retreat at my church. And when I came back, he was like, he wanted a break. And I'm like, a break? And that had never happened. We had never been on break since we'd been going together. So he said he wanted a break. Was and he your husband at the time? He was my husband. So how do you get a break from your husband, book? Okay, continue. I mean, you know, to me, I'm taking a break at separation. You want to be separated. Right. I didn't take it as a break. Like, cause a break, you ain't going to do what you want to do and come back with me. So I consider us separated. Um, we were living in a, we lived really nice at the time. We owned five businesses. I had just got our, a first, our first million dollar contract for one of our businesses. Like we were doing really, really well. Um, so anyway, um, for a couple of months we were separated and I just felt something. I had this anxiety. I could not knock and I couldn't catch him in nothing. He would come and visit the kids, but he was just acting like he was just a drop in. It was like no connection with us at all. So I was like, Lord, you know, I got it. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living with all this anxiety. At this point, I had lost so much weight. And I was just like, Lord, show me. So I'm not lying. Just like I'm hearing your voice right now. I was on the couch and God was like getting his email. So I got on. I was trying to break Google. Man, baby. Google is hard as hell to break. So I was getting in Google and I was like, I was talking, I called, they gave me a number to call. So I called the lady. I was like, lady, listen, they got a hit out on my husband. Um, I think somebody want to kill him. I think he may be dead. He haven't been home in three. <laughs> listen, hey, you're desperate. I got to do what I got to do. I said, he has to be home in three days. I think they've killed him, please. And she was like, is it your email? I said, it's his phone, but it's my email. And she came back. She was like, unfortunately, I can't do it. I said, okay, sorry. I said, I said, thank you so much. Have a good day. And she was like, okay. When I hung up, it said, reset your passcode. I said, oh, this bitch did it. I reset the passcode. She just proved to a fucking felony. She literally just admit it to a fucking felony <sighs> where the fuck do I go with this one bitch your husband did the right thing by cheating on you cause you is one crazy ass bitch you is one crazy ass bitch you heard me? You crazy. This this man, this man really did dodge a fucking bullet. Cause ain't no fucking way. Boy, he dodged a major bullet with you. Pasco, right? So I was like, JC Penn, you know, seeing like stores and stuff. I'm like, I know I ain't do all this for nothing. At the top, Google Hangout, it said 2,000 and some images of Google Hangout. I clicked it before the picture could resolute. I knew her body. So that was that. And that, that weekend, my son was at her house. So I had to go. I only saw one picture. If I had seen all the pictures, I probably would have really like, I'd be in jail right now. But I had only seen one picture at the time. 
So I went, I had to go to her house and it was just a big old day. She was married. We were neighbors. She was in my wedding. I was in her wedding. We were tied so in. So what did you say to her when you got to the house? I um I just opened the door and I was just like, Nick, Nick, bring your ass down these steps. I said, you up in my husband. And she was like, what? And she was like, girl, are you crazy? We're like sisters. Your mom raised my baby. I would never do nothing like it to you. She tried to hug me. I was like, girl, I seen the pictures. Like, get the, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to whoop you up. You know, I was like heated. My son was crying. The only thing that stopped me that day was my son was crying. And her kids, one of her kids or my God kids, my God child. And she was crying. They were screaming, looking down at me. That's the only thing that kind of like brought me back to reality. And then it was like for a second, I had to realize that this ain't worth my life. He already done. But it's like the man. He's still a man, but I expected so much out of her. Like I could be done with him and never look back, but I thought she was my sis. Like, come on now. That's as low as you can go. It's so many dudes you can sleep with, but your friend's husband and he ain't had nothing. I'm like, girl, if you only knew he only had peanuts, I was making him look good. But you know, I never embarrassed him or I never brought attention to it. So people thought that we were balling on account of him. You just, you, you, you the type of woman, <clears throat> gentlemen, this is a woman that would destroy your life, destroy your image, this is a woman that's a destroyer, take heed to her story, take heed to her and her actions, take heed to everything that she's saying, this woman is a destroyer. She would destroy you if she, if you make her mad. If you do something to her, she would destroy you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. She would destroy you. You gentlemen need to realize something. Women, women like this are the very type of women that will keep you from succeeding in your life. Women like this is the very type of woman. Mm. Boy, I know his life is living hell because he married her ass. Girl, everything was mad. When he left, everything was mad. I almost had to pay him um alimony because I was the provider. Mm, mm, mm. So that's that. Oh, that was a lot. So that, that ended in what year? That ended in 2016. So now where do you stand with both of them? Do you have relationships with oh, your best friend or your ex-husband? My ex-husband, he's the devil, so um, <laughs> I tried, I did try to keep a relationship. So you called the father of your two, two youngest kids the devil. Really? Wow. That shows the kind of character that you have. This is only exposing you, ma'am. For my children. So my children do keep in contact with him or whatever, but I don't do Like, he's not allowed him on my, in my house or in, He's blocked off my phone. And her, we don't have no type of um, communication at all. None. Like, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I saw her um, for the first time in a grocery store or whatever, and she smiled like she lit up when she saw me. And I was just looking like, girl, if you don't stay the hell over there. Yeah. But I'm healed from you. Okay. All right. all right, so we got that. So that was the ex-husband story. All right, so now, did I already, I can forget if I asked you the question. Did I ask you what kind of man you're looking for? Yep. Did I ask you your deal breaker? I threw you off now. Come on now. <laughs> that was a lot. That story was a lot. I so, know, but it's my truth. Did I ask you deal breakers? Um, now, my question is this. What did the ex-husband say? What was the, what is the ex-husband's experience? Because we got her side of the story. She says oh, she's living her truth, which means she's basically going upon what she thought happened and acted emotionally because she's seen a fucking picture. Now, I don't know if the fucker was cheating or not. I don't fucking know. But I can guarantee this. That ain't the only, that ain't the only, that ain't the, that ain't the half of the story that we were, that we need to fucking hear. She a damn lie. Um, my deal breakers would be not employed, um, or 
Well, that doesn't go for like a self-employed person because sometimes you could be between, you know, different things, but um, not have, yeah, that would be a deal breaker. And then, mm, I don't know, them baby mamas, like if they're not in place, if things are not wrapped up or whatever, I don't have time to deal with no like disgruntled baby mama because I, I, first of all, I don't even consider myself a baby mother, but definitely I will bring no drama to the table. You literally just told the story about your horn tight your ex husband, so that's bringing drama to the relationship. And you had a child before you got married, so you are a baby mama. What the? You don't consider yourself a baby mama, but everybody else that sees this shit's gonna consider you a baby mama. What the hell? What? How is it that we allow baby mamas to define themselves? Like the fuck? Like I'm I'm trying to figure that shit out. Like. Bring, bring Shane back, cause this, this goofy shit needs to stop. Okay, stop. you'll bring no drama to the table. See you. All right, girl. So does this man gotta look a certain way? Um, no, I wouldn't. I'm not big on looks. I need his heart to look good. I need his inside to look right, cause you could look so good from the outside, but that inside, no, I need that inside to shine through the outside, cause baby, I could learn to love. Uh, the rest. I ain't big on that. Mm -mm. I mean, I will now, I, hopefully he's not like 5'2 or nothing, but I'm 5'7, so 5'7 and up, and I'm good. 5'7 and up, and she's good. Okay. What about money, Sheikha? Do we gotta make a certain amount of money? Ooh, I just got asked this on my, um, Oh my, okay, um, I would say no, but because, yeah, I do lit, um, I would say as long as he can support himself. I know for my age, I just feel like every man I've been with, we've always grown to another level. Like, I've never been with nobody and we stayed where we were. So, I just anticipate. It's funny how she says that nobody that she's, that she's been with, that they, nobody that she's been with, she, that they haven't grown anywhere. Wait, let me rephrase it. It's funny how she says that when she was when she's with somebody that they grow beyond what they were, and then we look at her and see that she stink. She's single on a dating website. I mean, on a dating show, looking for somebody. If that ain't ironic, if that ain't irony, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Wow. The paid that God will, it will be just blessed abundantly and we will receive the overflow. So I just don't worry about finances because God is the real provider. That's my source. So that's how I look at it. Okay. That's the word. Let's do it. All the time for the Kendra cam. Oh, Lord. Now, you know, I got a robe on, y'all. So don't come for me. Well, you called us with a robe on, girl. I did. Okay. All right. We see you. Okay. <laughs> so Sheikha. Yes. Sheikha, when was your last relationship? Um I was uh it's been a while. Like I haven't been in a serious, like a living relationship since my divorce. I've had like uh maybe a situation shoot because that's what I wanted to do. Um So you was getting your back blown out by a guy that you didn't even really see seriously. So now you're coming to a dating show and expecting a guy that's looking for somebody serious. You want them to take you serious. Where the fuck do y'all come off as asking the shit of men? You were getting your back blown out. Now you're looking for a man to actually take you serious. Ma'am. Kick rocks. Ain't nobody dealing with that shit. And I'm just recently ending that. So I'll just be honest about that. Okay. Three. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. I plead the fifth. Three. She said she just recently ended it. So that means that she either ended it last week or last night. I'm tired of you hold line. Flaws you have to work on. Uh, Overanalyze and overthinking. Definitely is one. Um, 
I would say just wearing my feelings on my sleeve. I kind of tend to just be like, you know, I get my feelings get wounded very easily. And um, mm, what other flaw? Because I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. Um, I don't know another flaw, but um, I don't know. Because a lot of things in my life, I've really tackled a lot. I've come a long way, like for real, like. That divorce was the best thing that ever happened to me. I really bossed the fuck up. Like, I got my stuff. No, seriously. Like, literally, some of the worst things that can happen to you be the best things. Like, that set me up. Like, I bossed up to a whole nother level. So, I thank God that it happened. Okay. So, all I'm saying is this. This woman is a destroyer. Guys, heed these warnings. Women like this will destroy your life. And they will have fun destroying your life as well. Get married again? What you saying? Would you get married again? I would. Mm -hmm. I'm de I definitely would. Um, Could the guy have kids already? Yes. Okay. Now, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Sheikah? I think he'll be lucky to be with me because um, I think we could do a lot together. Um, business minded. I'm not somebody that you just got to, you know, you can't really get the details to because they don't really understand it. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. So, um, um, oh, baby, when I clean up, I cleans up. So, are we going to look good? When we step, we're going we gonna to big step. So um, that's why he'll be lucky. And I got a heart after God. So that's why he'll be lucky to be with me. Okay. And what's the age range you would date, Sheikah? You four All that shit sound like a reject. Ain't nobody want to deal with all of that shit you just named off that's fake. 45. So I would say 30. Cause I tend to be a cougar, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the age up today. So I'm gonna say thirty eight to fifty two. Maybe fifty two. Thirty eight to fifty two. And should he be in VA? No, he could be anywhere. Mm mm. He could be anywhere. All right, let's do it. We got Sheikah, thirty eight. Oh, excuse me, Sheikah's forty five. Pisces, NBA, a realtor, hairstylist, and a cook. Um, mom to three by two men. One was her ex-husband. And we got the story now. He done slept with her trifling ass friend. Period. Period. What are I would have cheated too. Her husband say when she found when he found out. Um, he was hurt. That's the thing. That's the thing that you know what? The one thing that Ramat that I think about about the situations all the time is that me and her husband and all those kids. We were like the innocent bystanders. We were the collateral damage for all of that. Um, but he's doing good. He's remarried. He got a beautiful wife. We still besties. Cause that's how he got with her. I introduced him to her. So me and him, we still besties. We still kicking it. But yep. Hey, you found him a new wife. No, I ain't dying. I ain't getting this one. No, he got uh oh, no. He, I don't think he gonna no, I'm saying, I'm me. saying, your friend that was married, to your friend that slept with your husband, you found her husband another wife. No, no, no. I had hooked him up with her, the girl who slept with my husband. I was the one that put them okay. together. But oh. you know, yeah, that's how that's how I knew her is because she married my best friend, my male best friend. Oh, so she wasn't your friend then. She was his. Okay, she was originally she was wrong originally she was that but that was like 20 years prior you know we had then we had made you know we began to be friends and we became friends but initially she wasn't my friend that's what i'm saying okay okay i mean it's still wrong either way all no. right let's do it she can how can the guy reach out to you boo he won't because i would never allow this shit on my show this, 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 this is a woman that, that, that did, mm, damn, mm. this woman will destroy your life if you don't ever take responsibility, if you don't ever, if you take, if you take this type of woman on, she will destroy your ass, 
And Lord have mercy. She will destroy you. But guys, all I can say about this is this. Women like that are the very type of women that will they 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 will fall. They will fail. They will they will fail you and they will cause you to fail. But anyways guys, like share subscribe channel support the podcast as well. But I come see you guys on the flip side. I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys.